All right, so uh, let's pick up with some examples, uh, some more examples with the uh, quotient rule. Again, remember the quotient rule talks about the derivative of a fraction. It's always the bottom times the derivative of the top, minus top times the derivative of the bottom, all divided by the bottom square. So here in this example, we have f of x equals 2x over 1 plus ln of x, and we want to find the derivative. So we would begin bottom 1 plus ln of x times the derivative of the top. The top here is 2x, so the derivative of 2x would just be 2, minus the top, which would be 2x, times the derivative of the bottom. The bottom is 1 plus ln of x, so the derivative of 1 would be 0, the derivative of ln would be 1 over x. And then that would all be over the bottom function squared. And then we just want to proceed here to start simplifying. From the top, we can multiply by 2 here. We can get 2 plus ln of x, 2 ln of x. And then in the second one here, we have 2x times 1 over x. The x's will cancel out, we'll just have minus 2. And that's all over 1 plus ln of x quantity squared. And then we can continue and do that a second time. For simplify now, cancel out the 2's. We'll just have 2 ln x over 1 plus ln of x quantity squared. So that is as far as we can go here. We can't simplify that any further. Uh, there's really no need to worry about trying to uh, simplify that any further. Okay. Let's consider another example. This example is going to phrase the problem a little bit differently. So here we're told that y is equal to uh, w to the fourth. minus w to the third all over 3w minus 1. All right, so instead of finding, saying find f prime here, uh, we're asked about the derivative just in a different language using this fraction notation. So we want to find dw uh, dy. And we want to find dw dy. I'm sorry, dy dw. I'm sorry, got it backwards. dy dw. That just is another name for derivative. So that means we just need to differentiate uh, this left hand, right hand side. Uh, it is a fraction, so we must use our quotient rule. And again, that would be the bottom times the derivative of the top. Here the top would be 4w to the third minus 3w squared. All right, and that's all over the bottom. Oops, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Minus the top. That would be the fourth minus w cubed times the derivative of the bottom, which is 3. All right, and that's all over the bottom function squared. And so at this point, what we need to do is we just need to go through and simplify uh, everything that we have here. Simplify everything that we have here. So here we have some multiplication going on. Uh, same thing over here, some multiplication going on. So let's do that, and then if we have any like terms, we can go ahead and combine those uh, and see what we end up with. So on the top here, we'd have 3w and 4w cubed, which is 12w to the fourth, 3w, and 3w squared would be minus 9w cubed. Or the 4w cubed and a 1 would be minus 4w cubed. And then 1 and 3 would be plus 3w squared. And then continuing over, 
we have 3 times w to the 4th would be minus 3w to the 4th. And because of the minus sign, that will actually be plus 3w to the 3rd. And then that's all over our bottom there, 3w minus 1, quantity squared. Okay, and at this point now, we would go ahead and look for any like terms. So we see immediately we have a 12w to the 4th, and we have a 3w to the 4th. So we can put those together. We have a bunch of w cubes here. Uh, we have a 9w cubed, a 4w cubed, and a 3w cubed. And then we just have the 3w squared all by himself. So putting all of that together here, we have 12w to the 4th minus 3 would be 9w to the 4th. And 9 and 4 is 13 plus 3 would be minus 10w to the 3rd plus 3w squared. All that over 3w minus 1 quantity squared. Okay, in this next example, we're given an equation. Uh, our equation here is f of x equals x minus 8 over 3x minus 4. And this time, we're asked to find, we want to find the equation of the tangent line when x is equal to 2. Remember to find the equation of a line. To find the equation of a line, we need to know the slope of the line and we need to know a point. Well, since we know x is equal to 2, we can go ahead and plug that into our function. We can plug that into our function to figure out what our y value is. Uh, so 2 minus 8 would be negative 6. 3 and 2 would be 6 minus 4 would be 2. So it ends up we're dealing with the point 2, negative 3. Then the second part of the problem, to find the equation of tangent line, is to know what the slope is. Is to know what the slope is. So to find the slope, remember we need to find the derivative. So we would go in here using our quotient rule. F prime be the bottom 3x minus 4 times the derivative of x minus 8, which would be 1 minus the top, x minus 8, times the derivative of the bottom, which would just be 3. And that's all over the bottom function squared. And so then we just need to go through here and simplify. So 3x minus 4 times 1 would just be 3x minus 4 x minus 8 times 3 would be minus 3x. And then because of the minus sign, that's actually going to be plus 3 times 8, which is 24. That's all over 3x minus 4 squared. And then just a little bit more simplifying we can do here. The 3x's will cancel out. Negative 4 plus uh, 24 would be 20. So we have 20 over 3x minus 4 quantity squared. So now we know what the derivative is. And the whole reason to find the derivative was to figure the slope of our line, tangent line. And so to do that, we would then evaluate that when x is 2. Because right, we want to find the equation when x is 2. So we plug 2 in to figure out our slope. That would be 20 over 3 times 2 minus 4 quantity squared. 
And then we just go through and simplify. 3 and 2 is 6, minus 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we have 20 over 4, which would just be 5. 20 over 4, which would just be 5. And so now we know the slope of our line, and we know a point. So we can go into our slope intercept form to try to find our equation. So plug uh, 5 in for our slope. Plug 5 in for our slope. Plug our point 2, negative 3 in for x and y. And then we can solve for b. Uh, 5 and 2 would be 10. When we bring the 10 over, that would be negative 13 equals b. And so therefore we have our result y equals 5x minus 13 would be the equation of our tangent line. Alright, so we'll continue with this in the next video.